Hello and what is up guys, Right here and welcome back to some more automation and of course BeamNG Drive. Uh, in front of us is a nice and simple clean sedan and we're going to be making this into the fastest sedan and quickest accelerating sedan in history. How are we going to do that you might be asking? Well, you know what, a little thing called electricity, it's going to be an all electric super sedan. It's going to compete against the Tesla Model S, the Plaid Plus Edition, with over 1100 horsepower, 0 to 60, in reported under 1.99 seconds, which is a really weird way to phrase 0 to 60, but that, that's fine. Uh, it's also going to be competing against a few other cars, uh, like the Porsche Taycan Turbo S. I'm not too sure why they call it the Turbo, but that's also okay, I guess. Um, the up and coming Audi uh, e Tron GT RS, which is going to be pretty much the Porsche Taycan Turbo S, but just Audi badging. Um, and also a new challenger, the Lucid Air Dream Edition. It should be coming up in the next few years with just under 1,100 horsepower and also an exceptional 500 miles or so of reported range. Um, so what we're doing is turning this car into an all-electric car using some BeamNG mods. I'll have a link down below to the vehicle. And if you guys want to check out how to, how to make an electric car, I'll also leave some links down in the description as well. So what we do here, we're going to go ahead and build the car, choose our chassis, choose our engine, all that goodies. Um, the engine is going to be a ripped out beam and jeep and swapped in with electric motors and a battery. So it's going to be a true nice electric car, or at least it's going to drive like one. That's that's the goal. Um, so we're going to build the car, design the car, and we'll drive it in beam and I want to compete this thing against the Tesla. We'll see if we can do that. Uh, so first things first, I think we'll go for partial aluminum on the panel material. This thing is going to be quite heavy still, around in and around 5,000 or so pounds, maybe a little less, maybe a little bit more. Monocoque chassis. Uh, we'll do AHS steel for now. We might go we might go just steel or light AHS. I'm not too sure yet. Front mounted longitudinal engine. It doesn't really matter because it's going to be electric anyways. But it doesn't just it doesn't it doesn't matter. Um, and multi link in the rear for suspension engine. So we are actually going to design an engine um, just to give it some weight. The engine is going to be totally ripped out uh, and swapped in with electric motors in BMG. And again, we'll do that later in the video. Uh, it's going to have around 1100 horsepower at least I think so let's go for an aluminum v8 engine 5 valve why not it's gonna be a pretty big v8 because we I want to have lots of power um, just so we can see a, a guesstimation on 0 to 60 times so we'll compare gas versus electric uh, in this I suppose we'll go for just a forged steel yeah fully forged sir this thing's got to be pretty expensive we'll make it turbocharged and like a pretty big intercooler and give it direct injection and 100 octane fuel doesn't really matter because again the engine's getting swapped out. The engine is the least important part of this. So just 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 by default here, the car is, is making a, a pretty impressive 550 horsepower. It is knocking though. 800 horsepower is fine to start. A thousand. That's pretty fine to start. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and choose the body here. Uh, I'm not too sure exactly which one we're gonna choose. We've got a couple options. This is a well, they're both technically sedans actually. One's a four, one's a two door sedan. Fun fact actually, the first sedans were actually two doors. So we can also make. Um, this one, which is a hatchback, but it's also a sedan. I kind of like the hatchback. That's kind of like 2020 stylish, is to have your sedan actually be a hatchback. But we'll do a, a normal conventional sedan for now. All-wheel drive, dual clutch. It's going to be a single-speed transmission in BMG, but this is fine for, for now, obviously. Um, top speed, 410 kilometers an hour. This is a slippery body, it must be. My gosh, it's pretty quick. I think the Tesla Model S only does 320 kilometers an hour, um, but we want to hit at least over 200 miles an hour with this thing. We'll go for sports compound, really thick rear haunches in this thing because it's going to have a lot of power. I don't know how to grab the haunches in this car. This body is a little bit... There we go. Oh wow, the whole thing sort of moves out. 315s in the rear, which is actually kind of small, honestly. Kind of small. But we'll go ahead and make this thing... Oh, we didn't... Okay, we got all or nothing. Well, nothing it is. Okay, 275s front, 315s in the rear. That's kind of small, actually, but I'll, I'll tweak that later on. 21-inch wheels is reasonable. Uh, alloys, of course. We'll go for vented discs, four pistons, and we'll go for vented discs, three pistons in the rear. Quite large. Fully clad under tray because the Tesla is all smooth underneath, and so does this car. It's going to have lots of range, too. You know, it's not about performance. It's about range as well. For a premium interior, I think, it's, it's a luxury car with a performance edge. Um, and then we'll go for like a luxury infotainment. The Tesla is known for having a great infotainment. You know, you got the big screen in the middle. And we're also going to do our best to design an interior today for this car. It might not be the fanciest thing in the world, but it's going to be a gosh darn interior. Um, so we're going all out with this one. Let's go for electric variable steering, uh, electronic stability control, and launch control. The best safety man could imagine. And just like... The best springs, but not for active, because active doesn't actually do anything in the other thing. It's just, it's just there. 
do a generic sport tune just to see what we have basically. So 0 to 60 without any tweaking is 2.6 seconds. 2.6 seconds with only eight or only a thousand horsepower. I say only a thousand horsepower. It's actually quite a bit slower than the Tesla. Um, but our tires aren't that thick. We could be using semi slicks that'll probably squeak us out. We can probably tune it for another second, 0 to 60. So the goal of this uh, is to be 0 to 60 in around the 1.9 second range or less. If we can hit it in 1.8, 1.7, that'll be absolutely insane. And I'm not stopping until this car can do 0 to 60 in under 1.9 seconds to smash Tesla and to smash any of the competition. So what I'm going to do like in all my builds is design the car. We're also going to tweak the things. I'll tweak the entire car, the suspension, all that stuff in the time lapse. And I'm also going to narrate the time lapse, of course. Um, before I do, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe on the video. If you guys want to see more automation, definitely subscribe. What are you waiting for? More BMG? Subscribe. So let's let's design the car. Uh, sit back, relax, guys. And of course, I hope you enjoy. And we are now starting the build for my all-electric super sedan. At uh, the beginning, uh, I'm just trying to find out what kind of vehicle I really want to create, what kind of design I want to have. And we do end up going with one similar to my previous uh, neon vehicle, which is the least reliable car. I'll have a link for that video down below. It's got a bit more of a Hyundai uh, Elantra vibe to it, I feel like, but it's just tweaking with things in the front end, so it's got a much more wider, much more horizontal front grille. Um, but that grille is going to be covered up a lot later on in the video because it's an electric car, it doesn't need that much grille, doesn't need any of this grille, really. But we're going to cover up a lot of it. It'll still have a little bit for a little bit of battery cooling or whatever later on. The headlights are going to have these sort of dual turd signals and one uh, daytime projector is actually above that. So we have a daytime projector strip that we just turn into a bunch of dots above it. We have the LEDs next to that as, or under that as well. We cover up a good chunk of the front grille because we actually don't need that much space. And, you, you know, add a few details here there to the sides. Uh, changing these side air intakes, having a little bit of a body color, a little bit of black to have a little bit of contrast in there. Uh, adding a bit of a hood bulge. Playing around with some hood scoops. We do end up getting rid of the hood vents and hood scoops and stuff. We don't need them. I'm trying to figure out now what I want to do for the actual, you know, uh, detail on the grill, I guess is what they'll call us. Um, I do end up with these sort of horizontal bars similar to the previous Neon and then add the Neon badge above that. Uh, the interior, yes, we are making an interior finally. Um, it's going to be a rather simple one. We've got this pretty simplistic dash that goes all the way across, of course, the front of the car. I don't know why dash wouldn't. Uh, we have a gauge cluster that's quite wide above that, and then a, a portrait-style, you know, vertical screen next to that. We do add the door cards, or a very basic door card, definitely not a fitting of a 2020 car. The steering wheel is very basic, it's a very basic 3D fixture, just painted gray. And then we have some rear seats, and we have the front seats all placed in, and currently like a white leather kind of color with a gray dash, etc. Adding a few details on the side. Uh, we are making our own door cutouts. Um, because we are covering it up with our own details and whatnot, adding the back sort of trunk area. This is a kind of a weird design for a vehicle. Got a very, very, very large panoramic sunroof. Basically, an entire roof is just a piece of glass. Um, the rear end taillights. This was the, the most frustrating part for me. It took almost an hour just for the taillights. This was my longest ever video build. As you can tell, this is like three or four hours of footage, or three hours of footage. We have like four or five not in footage that I just deleted. Um... So the rear end, we are starting off with a basic shape similar to the front end with a sort of a V or U-shaped grille in the middle with the uh, chunky-ish taillights. They do get bigger later on. I'm not too happy with what we have here. So I have the whole rear end pretty much made. Um, and I just start sort of tinkering with that, making the lights a bit lower, making them a bit bigger here or there. I'm adding a few more details to the rear, so I keep slowly making them bigger uh, to match the front end a little bit more because there's a lot of real estate on the back. and I do try to fix it and make it look better. Um, we end up having these sort of horizontal bars, light bar going across the top of the back, and we have a turn signal down below with a main red indicator or brake light in the middle. Adding again some more details in the back and our own trunk cutouts because we need some trunk cutouts for the car, obviously. And then adding a massive rear diffuser. This is a performance model. We don't need any exhaust, but we do need a big rear diffuser. Uh, changing the color, uh, we finalized on the name. This is the 2020 Neon Masquerade QSRE.
Alright guys, like I said, in front of us is the 2020 Neon Masquerade QSRE. Uh, QSRE, or the QSR, is the performance moniker for the Neon brand, similar to my previous Neon I made about a week ago, which is the least reliable car. I'll link that video down below. It's the... Uh, the Neon Extravaganza QSR, it's the sort of performance-oriented version. The Extravaganza was terrible, though, in every way, but it was kind of a meme. So the Masquerade is a much better car. Uh, it follows a similar design to the Extravaganza. It's got this sort of V, sort of U-shaped grille. Uh, it's a bit wider and a little bit less vertical, a little more horizontal. Um, also, there is no uh, actual projector headlights in the side vents because this car is a much slimmer, much shorter front profile. Because, of course, it's a sedan and not a crossover or a Nissan Juke, or whatever that was back then. Um, so yeah, the headlights, they have the same pretty much shape as the previous one. A, a bit larger, I think, uh, and they look really good. It's got these sort of dot projections then, instead of like one bar. And they also have the turn signals left and right that are sort of just there as well. So they, they look really cool. Um, the theme for Neons is having the, sort of these, these two lines. So we have the two lines following right here a little bit. Goes down into one line. It goes back up in two lines on the other side. Um, the grille is similar to the previous one. You might notice the grille is, is quite large for an electric vehicle, and, and that's true. You know, I thought the same thing when I was making this car. So what we have is some black plastic, some gloss plastic, actually covering almost the entire grille. We have one tiny area. We have this side area to, I guess, cool the brakes, etc. So there actually isn't a whole lot of functional grille on the Masquerade. And the reason why I actually named it the Masquerade is one, because it sounds really cool, and two, because, you know what, it's like a Masquerade. This car is putting on its own mask and pretending to still be a gas-powered vehicle instead of being an all-electric car. That, you know, that's kinda, that's the theme, right? The wheels, they are supposed to be chrome, but they're not. Uh, if you actually notice, the side has this really big indentation, which I kind of like. It sort of just goes into the top of the pack um, rear diffuser. There is no door handles. There's just sort of these keypads, which actually, when you think of it, look pretty not great. But they're supposed to look better than they are like this. We'll just change it like this real quick. So it's got these little keypads. We have an interior fully done, as you might be able to tell. We'll go over that as well. Let's just change this to, like, other things just so, um, just let me click. Good enough. Just so you can't see it. So it's got these little keypads to, you know, swipe your key card to get into the car. There is no physical key, probably. Uh, it's got kind of small brakes, but they're actually fairly sized. The interior is pretty simplistic. There is no floor, but that's, that's okay. You guys wanted me to do an interior. I did a pretty basic interior. The back doesn't really matter as much as the front. So it's got a tablet-style portrait screen uh, in the middle there, and it's got this big display over top, which doesn't actually have any functioning. Now, I was going to actually put, like, gauges in it and stuff. I decided just to keep it as a black, like, a screen, an empty screen, because when this car is off, which it's off right now, it's just a perfectly black, minimalistic, clear screen. I wish you could uh, change the steering wheel, the colors of all the buttons and stuff, but it's just going to be a gray steering wheel. And the seats, I don't know if I'm digging them 100% there, a little shiny, but, uh, you know, it's got this sort of gray fabric and we have this white sort of leather on the outside. I don't know, that's the, that's what I was going for anyways. Uh, it's got this absolutely massive panoramic sunroof going across the entire thing, similar to the Tesla. I think the Model Y, etc. has that. Uh, this thing is even bigger. Of course, it's got to be bigger than that, better than that. Back end, it's harder to see because, of course, uh, there's a lot of red because it's it's the, the rear of the car. If we turn off this. So it's got this light bar going all the way across with these sort of pointed headlights or tail lights, similar to the headlights. Then it goes um, into the middle bar and we have this other one right here and we have the brake light in between. So we have the brake lights or turn signals and we have other all the other stuff in there as well. We got a neon badge in the back. A similar sort of V or U shape in the back as to the front grille um, with some more little indentations and lines. Actually, if you notice, all the door cutouts, all of the back trunk cutouts are actually all custom made. This car is my longest build for a video by a good bit. Uh, I spent hours and hours redoing the design to be somewhat happy with it. I'm not 100% satisfied with the, rear, with the rear, but that's okay. I love the front. I love the side, although it's hard to make it perfect so you see these square lines. In the in the photos and stuff, you can't really see them, but in here you can see them a bit more. Um, in the rear diffuser, obviously, there is no exhaust. You just have some diffuser to diffuse air, probably. Um, we have these little lights in here as well. It's it's a pretty simple car. Uh, the front is very complex, but the, the side's pretty simple. The back's pretty simple. There's just a lot of layering. If we actually go ahead and hide uh, the, not the, bo the bonnet, the body, you can see all the stuff placed, so the entire front end is pretty much remade. The hood is there, we got the side, a lot of the side, the interior is all nice. The interior looks really cool. Mine, I'll do an interior in the future, it'll be a lot more detailed, I wish you can change more colors. It's even got armrests with the, the latch and some buttons for windows roll up and down, etc. I'm not too sure what they'd all do, but you know, they're, they're there, they're there. So all we have left to do um, is modify this car the J-beam of it to make this car into electric. So we're going to make it a single speed transmission. You got you got forward, reverse, and neutral. I don't know why you need a neutral because it's an electric car and I guess you can just spin up the motors. I I'm not sure. 
Um, so we're going to convert this car to electric. I'll link down below uh, my previous electric car uh, and a tutorial on how to make your own electric car if you guys want to make your own. I'm going to follow this tutorial sort of, but I'm also going to go off my own stuff um, like my previous car was similar but different. Cost about 120000 I did change the engine out to a NA inline 6 because I, it's, it's more difficult to make it electric with turbos. It's just one more step, and I'd rather save that step. So it's a naturally aspirated engine, 6.9 seconds to 60, which is pretty terrible, obviously, but it's going to be much, much more powerful in Beam and Gene. We'll see in just a sec. Um, the weight distribution is pretty fine. The weight is pretty fine. I tuned the suspension a bit. I tuned the, the wheels. I've got some quality sliders because I want to bring the budget up a little higher. So yeah, we'll hop into Beam and G, and I'll explain what's going on there. I'll see you guys there in just one second. And finally, guys, we are in Beam and G Drive with the Neon Masquerade. And it is looking pretty bad in Beam and G, I'm not gonna lie. It looks really wonky in the front, but that's... That's fine, that's fine. Uh, all of our black gloss is, like, blindingly chrome now. The interior actually kind of looks okay from a distance. The, the, the interior of the seats look, and the back seats look really... Soft, I guess is what this is. I don't know. Um, anyways, the, the profile of the car looks like a Tesla Model S, almost the, the wheels are kind of glitching out red. That's okay as well. The car looks okay. Um, as you can see on the left-hand side, we've got a 0 to 100 kilometer an hour timer, so that's, that's actually better than 0 to 60. That's actually more than 60 mile an hour. That's actually 62 miles an hour. But, you know, we'll do a 0 to 100 test, and if we can beat 1.99, then that's, that's good, right? Uh, we also have the power graph. We have, like, a, a torque and a horsepower curve. I mean, it's PS and Newton meters. PS pretty much translates almost directly to horsepower. Um, so we get about 1,200 or so horsepower, which is more than the Tesla Model S Plaid Plus with 1,100 horsepower. We also have more torque. As far as I know, we've got about 12 or about oh, what, 1,350 Newton meters, almost 1,400 Newton meters of torque, which is a lot, a lot of torque. Um, it's, it's 1,350, exactly. 1,350 Newton meters of torque. Uh, made all at zero payment, it slowly tapers off towards the, the higher speeds we get to with this thing. It's a single speed transmission. It's a little bit wonky. So... As you can see, we do have to we, we do have to rev it up in drive before we do launch it. Um, just think of this as your car's launch control. So we are at peak or peak peak RPM, twenty thousand or so RPM right now. Wait, we're gonna restart that. Let's go a little forward here. It's very fast if you haven't noticed. It's very very sensitive. We're gonna launch it again here. I don't want to wait too long. Well, once it gets to full, <laughs> look at the acceleration: zero to sixty one point nine four. And it keeps going. Top speed is about 360 or so kilometers an hour. It is an absolute rocket ship. It loses power, of course, in the higher end speeds. The brakes aren't the best. I have modified the brakes. I modified the suspension um, with JB Meta, I think, to make it uh, more better of a car. Because it was pretty bad at first. Um, it's still a little bit soft, the suspension. But that's okay. This thing is very, very quick. So I thought, you know, there's no test in the game. We do have the Tog Rack. Uh, and I think the, the Vivace, like the EVs that we that we can do in BMG, and they're actual true EVs. This thing's not a real EV, it's technically a gas engine with uh, no sounds, etc. But we're gonna race against the Tog Rack. Uh, I don't know if it'll be faster than this thing, but it's pretty fast. Here's 61.9. We are putting Elon Musk to shame, so we're gonna back up here. One thing that's kind of weird, though. If we back up, actually, we feel forward again. It still goes in reverse. I don't know. I don't know what the problem is, but uh, that's that's... Probably fine. That's acceptable, I'd say, compared to ours, uh, which is 1,350 newt meters and around um, 1,350 horsepower as well. I'd say about 1,350. So we're going to line up here pretty close. Let's actually get rid of the power curve. We don't need that anymore. I want to keep the 0 to 60 timer just for fun. Go a little closer here. A little more. A little more. There we go. Let's launch it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we're much faster. That was a bad launch, too, because uh, we were not at full power here. 2.1 to 60 is still absolutely incredible. We finished the quarter mile on 9.3. And if we had a, a, a good, better quarter mile, we could probably do it in the, the low 9s, maybe even sub 9s, compared to the Togrex. Yeah, yeah, 10.6. So let's go ahead and actually switch. Oh my gosh, this thing is an animal. 2.4, I think the most I've got with this car is 2.2. Top speed is only 186, or 180, 183? 180 about. So he's back there. I think he had problems with traction. Yeah, 13.3 at 150, he had a way faster mile an hour top speed. He was, he was pulling on me, that's crazy. But I think that, uh, yeah, the um, Masquerade. It's, it's safe to say it's probably a bit faster. Let's, uh not use this car. I think, yeah, I think the only thing we want to do with this car now is really just take it 
Uh, we can go for a top speed. And we can go for a quick track test. So we're going to hop into just a grid map. And we'll swap to the Masquerade. And we'll see how good of a top speed it can do. It'll, I think the theoretical is about 360. Uh, it's not the same as automation, obviously. Um, but it should be around 360. We'll just start going, even. We don't need traction control. We're just going to floor it. 2.8, no launch control, just driving normally. That's a very, very, very good at 0 to 100 km an hour. Uh, it does taper off a lot. You can see we're, we're already struggling around um, 16,500 RPM of the motor. Uh, I mean, electric motor in quotations. So over 300 kilometers an hour is kind of difficult. But if we could beat 323, 33, 40, I'd be very happy with that. Um, there's 320 with quite, e quite, quite, quite easily 320. I do love the, um, the roof. It's just very crazy. It's very... I don't know. It's a little big, maybe, but it's it looks good. I like it. So we can do about 340. That's top speed. I think 340 is what we hit. So, at the very least, I'm not too sure if this is faster than the Tesla Model S Plaid Plus. Um, let's see. Top speed. So we can do 320. Okay, so we do have a faster top speed than Tesla Model S Plaid Plus, which is about 1100 horsepower, 0 to 60 in 1.99 seconds or less. So we actually have a higher top speed, a faster 0 to 60. Um, and this thing actually breaks super well. If you just launch this thing. Yeah, it's not it's not as quick on a prep on a non-prep surface. I'll tell you that right now. If we break here. The brakes they squeak a little bit, but it stops. Look at that. Can we actually just can we launch it in with parking brake? We can. It's still going. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, but this is the Neon Masquerade. I'll have a link to download the car down in the description. If you guys want to see more electric stuff, let me know in the comments down below. This was my longest ever build and video. Just recording the video, making this car, doing the interior, and all that was my longest ever. So if you guys appreciate it, I would really appreciate it if you guys left a comment, left a like. Uh, and, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. If you made it this far and you haven't subscribed, I honestly don't know what to tell you because you should be subscribed. Just click the subscribe button right now. It'll be great. Join the Discord linked in the description as well. Uh, thank you guys so, so much for watching. And of course, as always, I'll see you next time.